Martin Mystery is an animated television series based on the Italian Martin Mystery comic. The show was produced by Marathon Media Group, a French television production company based in Paris, and Image Entertainment Corporation, a Canadian production and animation company based in Montreal, with principal animation produced in Japan by Totsunoko Production. Plot the series reimagines the comic book's main characters as 16 year old step siblings attending Torrington Academy, a high school in Shibrook, Quebec. They work for a clandestine organization referred to as the Center, which covertly protects the people of Earth from supernatural threats. As a cover organization, their work must be kept secret. For this reason, anyone who comes too close to their missions will have their memories of the event erased. Not everyone who works for the organization is human. The short and green-skinned alien, Billy, is one of Martin's best friends. Java works as a janitor at Diana and Martin's school and is a caveman from 200,000 years ago. He also aids Martin and Diana on their missions. As far as the center is concerned, Martin's vast knowledge of the supernatural and his remarkable intuition compensate for his poor personal hygiene and huge ego. Diana resents these flaws at times, as Martin often does not seem to understand the seriousness of his missions, but generally loves him like any sister. In the original comic book version, Martin's mission was actually to unveil the world's ancient mysteries in a never-ending struggle with his nemesis, the secret organization of the Man in Black, who was devoted to keeping them hidden. Characters Martin Mystery Martin is a 16-year-old boy with a passion for monsters and the paranormal who works as a paranormal investigator for the center. Whether at school or on a mission, he always remains the same, an immature and hyperactive nerd constantly bursting with energy. He seldom thinks before leaping into danger, often to help someone in peril. Whenever they are on a mission, Martin always jumps to conclusions, coming up with every unlikely theory he can think of usually from some movie he saw or from his subscription to Paranormal Monthly. As the leader of the trio, Martin is also the only one who wears a U-watch. He is an underachiever at school, once getting 106 out of 902 in his report card results. Martin has a peculiar love for everything slimy, sloppy, and gooey, things that make Diana gag. Martin's favorite hobby is teasing Diana by playing pranks and creeping her out and she often retaliates with physical abuse. He is also seen in a crossover episode of Totally Spies. In the episode, he is smitten with Clover, although she is uninterested. Towards the end of the same episode, Clover tries to get his attention, but Martin and Alex have hit it off due to a shared love of comics and video games. Martin continuously describes Sam as a really lame buzz kill just like his sister, which causes her to lash out at him as Diana normally does. A running gag in the series is Martin's constant flirting with every beautiful girl he meets, who usually reject him with verbal or physical abuse. Voiced by Sam Vincent. Diana Lombard, Diana is a 16-year-old girl who has nothing in common with her stepbrother Martin. As a fellow agent for the center, she strives to bring more seriousness into Martin's life, and is Martin's female counterpart during investigations. She is the complete opposite of her brother and is normally seen as the clean freak, goody two-shoes, overachiever, and brainiac of the group. Diana is quite jumpy and squeamish at times and is even described by Martin as a wimp, but shows great courage when called on and is very smart, which proves to be extremely useful in their missions. Not sharing Martin's love of the paranormal, she often tries to explain strange occurrences with logic before jumping to conclusions. Diana has the hardest time keeping her cool with her irresponsible stepbrother, and will generally slap, kick, beat on, or scream at him quite often. Regardless of Martin's goofy behavior, she loves him like her own brother. She is usually seen with her two signature hair clips and her small purple shoulder bag. She also seems to be the bait on the majority of the missions. Her arguments with Martin tend to normally rise to some sort of bet, which she usually loses. She is often one of the earliest victims in the episodes, including being cocooned by an acid-spewing insect queen, turned into a frog by a warlock Martin unleashed, and being possessed by a vengeful spirit at a mountain lodge. When Martin is transformed by other monsters, 
Diana uses her own skills to save him. In a few episodes, Diana even wears Martin's you watch and uses it when he is transformed. Her best friend is Jenny Anderson. Voiced by Kelly Sheridan. Java the Caveman, Java is the 200,000-year-old caveman, a friend and aide-de-camp to Martin and Diana, who works at Torrington as a cook and a janitor. He assists them in their investigations, serving as the team's tracker. His brute strength proves useful when battling monstrous foes or breaking through barriers. A lover of lizards and spiders, Java nevertheless fears cats, heights, and technology. The member in the trio who speaks the least, his English is on a fairly simplistic level. Also, Java has a knack for thinking outside the box, which greatly helps in the team's adventures. Java is a significant source of comedy in the show due to his reactions to various scenarios and his poor hygiene as a caveman. Java is sometimes the victim of the paranormal, being transformed into a monster, such as when he inhales the chaos beast in its gas form, or brainwashed by a pirate-controlled Martin. Voiced by Dale Wilson. M.O.M. As the multitasking director of the center, M.O.M. oversees the investigation of paranormal activities throughout the world. Martin's capabilities make him one of her favorite agents, if favorite is meant by the agent that she would rather spend the most time in the field and out of her office. Her real name is unknown though she used the alias Ms. Olivia Mandel in the episode Web of the Spider Creature. Before working at the center, she used to drive an ice cream truck. Serious, uncompromising, and an expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat, she usually has to deal with Martin blowing up nearly every piece of gadgetry she is working on whenever he appears for a debriefing in her office. Despite her typically dry sense of humor, M.O.M. is actually quite as Billy says a real party animal when she gets going. Proof is seen by the team in some pictures she accidentally shows them in the episode The Amazon Vapor while trying to debrief on the next mission due to some malfunctions at the center. When she was an agent, the first creature she captured was Gastromo, a parasitic, iron-eating monster who infects and controls those he touches. It appears her favorite holiday is Christmas when she is always in a rather happy and festive mood and, as Martin says in disbelief, it looks like M.O.M. is actually having fun. In the crossover episode of Totally Spies, titled Totally Mystery Much, M.O.M. is shown to have a possibly romantic history with the spy's boss Jerry, much to the spies and Martin's displeasure, as she and Jerry spy flirt between holograms. The initials M.O.M. are said to actually stand for Mystery Organization Manager, as explained by Martin in that episode. M.O.M. is voiced by Terrell Rothery. Billy, a tiny green alien who works for the center as M.O.M.'s personal secretary, often seen flying on his mini hovercraft. He is a powerful idolizer of Martin and in one episode, it was revealed that in his room, he even had a picture of Martin, making him the crazed fan of the show archetype. He is first usually seen greeting the gang once they are signed and then often does his signature high five with Martin. His role is generally a supportive one. He pops up any time during a mission to give Martin, Diana, and Java valuable information, usually startling them in the process. He also does analysis on slime or fabric samples sent by Martin during a mission. He won't help Martin and the gang on a mission directly unless forced. In the second season, Billy was revealed to have once been a great alien warrior, known as Gantha, on another planet, but gave up violence for good. When Martin asked why a planet on Billy's list of hologram worlds was blue, it was revealed by M.O.M. to be the world which changed Ganthar into Billy, the reason he doesn't go on missions with the other three agents. He arrived on Earth in the Roswell UFO incident in 1947. Billy adopted a human disguise a Euro the B.S. 1000 inches a Euro to be with Martin and Diana at their school. A few episodes in season 3 hinted that he liked Diana, such as one of the Christmas specials where he invited her under the mistletoe and actually went on a friendly date with her. It is revealed in the episode Revenge of the Doppelganger that Billy was once a supermodel on his home planet. This might be true, since he was fearsome and powerful, and might have been popular with his people. Voiced by Samuel Vincent. Jenny Anderson, Jenny is Martin's constant love interest which he does not return. 
her view of Martin is generally not very flattering, this includes immature, freak, or loser. Jenny is also one of the prettiest and most popular girls attending Torrington. She has blue eyes and flared auburn colored hair, usually seen wearing a black blouse and skirt with knee high boots. She is also Diana's best friend. Though Jenny usually sees Martin as a brat, there have been times where she actually seems interested in pursuing a relationship with him. Unfortunately for Martin, though, it never lasts, because her memory of whatever happened is erased. Martin does something stupid, or some other incident interferes. Voiced by Tabitha St. Germain, Marvin, Marvin is Martin's rival, and evidently enjoys the extreme, such as snowboarding down K2. He does virtually everything that Martin himself can do, and even dresses in a similar style. His father is a pilot, allowing Marvin to travel around the world on a frequent basis. Marvin first appeared in the episode Attack of the Mothman, where he shows off his skateboarding skills and his very own comic book. His talents and popularity make Martin jealous as Diana, Java, Jenny, Billy, and even Torrington fawn over him. He reappears in the Amazon Vapor, where he discovers Martin and Diana's secret and helps on their mission with his talents and quick thinking. Diana fears and Martin hopes that they will erase his memory of the event. However, in the third eye, it is revealed that he works for the center and has acquired his own new watch because M.O.M. recognized his amazing potential. Unfortunately, because of his negligence in the previous mission, he ends up being deported to the center's South Pole facility and blames his unfortunate circumstances on Martin. Martin remarks that it is not really that bad because he has a beautiful teammate, who Martin is a crush on in the episode. He and Martin continue in their mutual dislike throughout the episode Body Swappers, until Martin gives him the majority of the credit for getting rid of the parasite and M.O.M. decided to relocate Marvin to Hawaii. In a subsequent episode, Rage of the Leprechaun, Marvin contacts Martin and Diana for help after being stalked by a leprechaun that wanted to get back the magically lucky, four-leafed clover Marvin had stolen from him. After the incident, Marvin is punished by M.O.M. For keeping the clover instead of getting rid of it, which Martin calls a rookie mistake, but leaves M.O.M. equally disappointed in him for letting greed get the best of him as well. What happens to him after that is unknown, as he is not mentioned in the remainder of the series. Voiced by Matt Hill. Gerard Mystery Gerard Mystery is Martin's father and Diana's stepfather. Unlike his immature son, Gerard is a very rational, logical person like Diana and considers anything related to the paranormal to be balderdash. As a scientist, he spends much of his time doing field work in the forest. In the third season, he finds out about the center, and that Diana and Martin work for it. Diana's mother is never mentioned in the series and Gerard spoke about Martin's mother once in season 3 when he thought Martin was going to tell his mom about what happened when Martin was actually speaking about M.O.M. voiced by Michael Donovan. Media. Equals broadcast equals, Martin Mystery aired in Canada on YTV and Discovery Kids in English and on VRAC in French from 2003 until the series finale in 2006. In the United States. Nickelodeon and Nicktoons showed Martin Mystery from May through August 2005. Nickelodeon's teen channel, Teen Nick, aired reruns of the show from September 2005 until July 2009. In other markets, NBC3 and ART3 broadcast this show in Arabic with the voice talents of Muawad Ismail as Martin and Mariam El Kisht as Diana. Martin Mystery began airing on Disney Channel in 2004 during its weekday afternoon lineup. Equals crossovers in other series equals, Marathon and Image also produced Team Galaxy, Totally Spies, and Amazing Spears. Male characters resembling Martin, Diana, and Martin's rival Marvin have appeared in Totally Spies, such as in the episode Super Agent Much, and many others. Martin's character guest starred in the 2007 Totally Spies episode Totally Mystery Much which had him team up with the spies to investigate Yeti sightings. The only other Martin mystery character to appear in a Totally Spies episode was M.O.M., in the same episode. Equals cancellation equals, in March 2006, 
it was announced that due to declining ratings, Martin Mystery had been officially cancelled and taken out of syndication. The last episode aired on March 27, 2006. References External links Martin Mystery at fguides.com, the official Martin Mystery site, Martin Mystery at tv.com, Martin Mystery at the Internet Movie Database.